integrity, Madam Speaker. They would close... The alarm debate. sounded just as the Northern Ireland Assembly was inching forward to it's democracy fine. and power sharing. Bursting through the main door, a violent echo of the past in the shape of loyalist Michael Stone. That's right. Tackled by unarmed security guards, one held his arm as a female colleague grabbed a gun out of his hand and then hit him on the head to subdue him. The building was evacuated because Stone had thrown a bag with explosives in through the main door. For ten minutes, the unarmed security guards held him on the ground after dragging him outside. Eighteen years ago, Michael Stone launched a notorious attack against mourners at a Republican funeral, making him one of the best-known and most ruthless loyalist paramilitaries. Three people were killed as Stone continued firing. For this and other murders, he was sentenced to life in prison with a recommendation that he should serve at least 30 years. But he was released early under the Good Friday Agreement. Just two weeks ago, Stone gave his most recent interview at Stormont to ITV News. Regrets. Um, I regret not, not having uh, assassinated uh, Adams, McGuinness. Politicians on all sides, including Tony Blair, condemned the attack, saying it must not interfere with the peace process. The Chief Constable of Northern Ireland described Stone's attack as amateurish but dangerous.